Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Well, it's such a lovely day out here again. So, what are we going to do, Kurapika? Hmm, I'm not sure, Pero. But I heard listeners back. I heard she went out to the outside world with her brother. Oh, that's wonderful! How about we go visit her? I heard she passed the test for not revealing her scarlet eyes. I think same goes to her brother. Really? Yeah. I guess she can hold in her anger really well. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. There she is now! Huh? Oh. Well, what are we waiting for, Kurapika? Let's go up to her! Um, maybe... What if she's busy and maybe we can- Welcome back, listener! Oh, no. Peril, wait! Welcome back, listener. How was the outside world? Uh, Pero, don't run away like that. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, Kurapika. I'm just happy to see her again. Oh, hi, listener. Uh, oh, we're sorry. Um, it's just Pero's just really excited is all. <laughs> huh? My face? What do you mean? Uh, Kurapika, is that a blush I see on your face? Uh, no. I mean, I was running and I was chasing you, Pero. That's all it was. Oh, okay. So, now that you're here, maybe we can do something together. Like a play date! <laughs> yeah, like, like old times. Well, looks like listener's up for it. What should we all do together? Hmm. Maybe find something around here that we can do for fun. That's a good idea. Sometimes we always come up with great ideas to do. Mostly listener makes the best ideas. What? No, I'm I'm just I'm just trying to sound nice is all. <laughs> Could be got your face is turning red again. Oh, uh, really? I mean I mean, Kurta girls can be smart too. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's look around. Let's go over to the flower field again, like we always do. Oh yeah, maybe we can make flower crowns. Okay, I'll lead the way then. And we'll be right behind you. Wow, there's even more flowers like last time. I bet we can make over a million flower crowns. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a dare, Pyro. Let's see how many we can make. Okay. Come on, listener. Hmm. Comes in so many different colors. <laughs> you should make a rainbow one, Kurapika. Hmm. I actually want to make something for listener. Oh. Aw. I knew it. What? I knew you like her. Shh, 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 Pyro. She's right there. I know, it's just, I knew you liked her. Of course you do, you don't keep secrets. Is it true that you plan to marry her one day? What? No, I... Uh, nothing, listener. Uh, Pyro is just, you know, being Pyro. <laughs> I swear to God, if you say something like that again... You know, I can't hurt you. You're, you're my best friend, you know. Just don't tell her, please. Oh, okay. So, you don't want to marry her? I mean, when I'm older, yeah. Aw, okay. I won't tell her then. Thank you, Pyro. You truly are a friend. <laughs> hey, listener. Huh? Oh, you made- you finished up your flower crown. Aw, it looks beautiful. <laughs> um... 
Here's mine. I kind of used your favorite colors because I actually made it for you. Let me put it on you. There. <laughs> you look like a Kurta princess to me. I think you look so beautiful, listener. Hey, I was thinking of another game we can play. Oh, what's that, Pyro? Let's play wedding! Uh, what? I mean, how do we play that? I mean, looking at listener, she looks like a bride. Maybe you can play as the groom. Uh, uh, why do I have to be the groom? I don't know, I, you kind of look suitable as a groom. And I'd be the priest. Um, okay. That's gonna be pretty awkward for me. Look, listener's up for it. Really? I mean, you don't mind if I play as the groom? <laughs> okay, um, it is a pretty atmosphere around here. Yeah, I, I made a bouquet. I have to tie it up with some long grass. So, here you go, listener. <laughs> you look like a bride already. Okay, um, so how do we start this game of wedding? Well, um, listener has to walk down the aisle, and you stand right here. Oh, okay. Oh, um, hold on. What are you doing, Pyro? Gotta place this flower on right here. Oh. <laughs> Pyro, I think you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> I just want to see how it goes, because he said he wanted to marry her. When we're older, I mean... Uh... Oh, here she comes. Wow. From over there, just seeing her like that, it's like I'm actually getting married to her. Hmm. Uh, Kurapika. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to compliment her? Oh, sorry. Um... Listener, you look beautiful. <laughs> Why, thank you. Well, um... I'm not good at uh, the priest talk, so... Um... Hmm... Uh, Kurapika, will you take Listener to be your... Awfully wedded Kurta wife, and you take good care of her and make sure that she is safe and sound and you love her to bitter end. I, I do. Uh, same goes to you, listener. Will you take Kurapika as your lovely, awfully wedded husband, where you take good care of him and be the best wife for him and have beautiful children? Mm, Pyro. It's just pretend, Kurapika. You really did say I do. <laughs> well, if there are any objections, um, please feel free to say whether or not Kurapika and listener doesn't deserve to be married. Mm. Well, I hereby, <laughs> hereby declare husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Do I really have to kiss her? Yeah, I mean, that's what the groom does. Um, okay. It can't be on the cheek, though. You're doing this on purpose, Pyro. <laughs> uh, um. Yay, you're married now. That's not how it works, Pyro. <laughs> well, at least we had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, and one more thing. I even made you a flower crown, Kurapika. Oh, thank you. Huh? What was that, listener? Oh, you made a flower crown for me? <laughs> Bless you so much. Did you have fun, listener? I bet you and Kurapika would get married soon in the future. Why would you say that, Pyro? Wait, what, listener? You... You would also want to marry me? 
Well, <laughs> I mean, when we're older, then, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you do get married, can I be your best man? Of course, Pyro. You you can be you can be our best man. We'd be, I mean, we have a childhood up in hand, and we don't want to waste it too early. I'd say we should make a promise. Hold on. What are you doing, Kurapika? Here, listener. I know it doesn't look like a ring, but as soon as we're older, we shall make a promise that we will get married by the age of 18. Yeah, you can call it a Kurta promise ring. It means that you promise that we can always be together. And if relationships don't last long, like don't go well, I can be your final option. Then that's the plan. Well, let's not waste childhood, Kurapika. Hey, how about we can go out and maybe play some hide and seek? That's like a great idea. Um... I'll go count and you both hide, and I'll go find you. Okay, come on, listener. <laughs> oh, what's that, listener? <laughs> yes, I promise. When we're older, I will ask for your hand in marriage. Well, let's just see how it goes in the future. Now you go and hide. Let's go, listener. One, two, three, four, five.